we're going to reorganize your account for the new academic year if your school is linked with WAND and if this account has already been linked with WAND. So first of all, WAND only ever imports information from your school MIS system. So that first of all must be up to date. WAND will never get rid of any information from your account. It will only add information. So we need to first of all delete any leaving pupils or teachers. Now, this is my test account, which is actually based on a secondary school, which is why it's got lots of different codes for different classes. Yours is likely to look a lot more simple than this. So first of all, we need to delete any children who are leaving. So most likely, this will be your year sixes. So you can either click the groups heading and it will sort the children into their groups. You can also search a group in the top. So if we use this one as an example, and then it will come up with all the pupils in that group, which you can see here. Then you can go ahead and select all the pupils you would like to delete and who are leaving. This will permanently delete them from your system. So make sure you're sure that you've these children are leaving. You also might have some other children from different classes who have just left in the last academic school year who you might need to delete here. Once you've done this, I also recommend to delete any teachers who have also left. You can do that in a similar way just by clicking the bin icon. Now you're happy all the levers have been deleted, we need to go into settings and then options and we're going to delete all the groups. This will not delete any more pupils, it will just delete the groups that they are currently organized into. So we just need to click delete all groups. And then we'll have all of our pupils still there. They just won't be in any groups, which you can see here. So if we go back to that options page, the next thing we need to do and this is where it's key that your MIS system is up to date, we're going to click configure data and we're going to select the data that you want to come across. If you've got lots of data, this might take a while to load. So this page, you can see all of the groups that I had previously selected to be brought across. It's crucial here that you look at the groups that are selected as you will have some confidential groups on your MIS system, such as free school meals and the SEN register, and you do not want those to come across onto your account. Now, if you are a primary school, which is most likely, you will just have the classes here. You might have some groups with the whole year groups in, which you might also want to bring across. That's totally up to you. As this is based on a secondary account, I've also got all the codes of the lessons of the different timetable. So we won't, I won't go into those, but that's why those are there. So go through and select the ones that you would like to bring across. I would go through and just double check that you're happy with what you've selected. Then if you go to your teachers, you may get a message like this. This says I've got eight teachers with no groups or classes. Now, if my teachers are already connected to the classes in the MIS system, they will have been automatically selected here. But if some of the teachers are not connected to the, M uh, the particular classes for any particular reason, whether they are PPA cover um, or anything similar, you can just select them. But that's what that message means. To exclude them, you'd click that button, but tick them and they will come over anyway. You can see here the ones that have no group. The pupils you don't need to worry about because those that are part of a particular group or class will have already been selected automatically. Once you're happy with those, you need to simply click save. I'll click another teacher so you can see that. Then if you do have any of those teachers who are not part of a particular group, it will come up with this message and you can choose to either exclude the staff or keep the staff and have those on your system. And then you can sync. 
So now, WAND is syncing with the new updated information on the MIS system. It will organise the current pupils on the account into their new classes, as well as bring over any additional new pupils and put those into their new classes. And it will also add the teachers to the classes as well. If you exited the screen before you were able to sync, the other way you can sync the data is here once you have selected the different groups. To check that, you can simply go into the groups page or the all pupils page and you'll be able to see your pupils with the groups next to them. You might want to go into each group to check the correct teacher has been added. To do that, you simply go to groups, click on the blue details button and check in that way. To add a teacher, simply click teachers, add teacher and select from the drop down. You can click more than one here, you can also search.